animal experiments they tend to generate a lot of um, data and uh, most of the uh, labs they work in work with mice models and uh, uh, with mice um, you have to keep the track of uh, the birth of mice or the weaning process, mating process and so on. So it's uh, it at times difficult to keep the track for uh, all of your data set, especially if you're using like 50 mice um, with replicates. So uh, people have been trying to um, just use conventional methods uh, like uh, bookkeeping uh, to keep the track of the status. But uh, at times it gets cumbersome, it's difficult. And um, so, uh, 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 so uh, the computer scientists, they have been trying to make attempts to write a software which can uh, help to uh, keep the track of those um, of your models. Uh, so uh, there have been attempts, um, but uh, um, the softwares uh, in the present market, they are usually uh, expensive. Um, they are not free of, uh, free of charge um, and uh, it's a primitive um, technology. So the current softwares in the market, they, they try to focus on one model. And so if the user is working with a different model, uh, uh, that software may not be useful for him. So, um, so we, try to, we try to incorporate uh, different model organisms in our software. And so if the user is working with mice, he can work uh, using the, uh, the mice system, or if he's working with Drosophila or C. elegans. So we have different options to um, to have to keep the tracking for and um, uh, the second important aspect is uh, the processing speed of the software so the current models or the current softwares they uh, they are pretty slow uh, because they try to uh, work with a, a local operating system but in our case uh, we are trying to use um, a high performance computing server so it gives up speed to uh, to the to the tracking or retrieving of the data um, the third important aspect is the security. Uh, since it's, a, it's an unpublished experimental data, so it's important for the user to keep it secure. So we try to uh, implement some uh, very uh, extensive uh, security measures, encryption te techniques, so that uh, user have a secure data uh, stored in our system. And um, uh, the third, uh, the fourth would be the ease of use since like um, um, most of the, um, the users are not, um, are not well versed with uh, the, the IT thing. So uh, any user with minimal experience can, uh, can work with the software. And finally, uh, it has to be cost effective. So we try to uh, keep it open source. So user does not have to pay any licensing fees or any, um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, um, any fees for it to, to buy it. Uh, so you can just go into our website and then download the software and run it. So, um, so we have been, um, um, uh, uh, we, have, we have tried to uh, take all these measures and come up with the software um, uh, which has been published in this, in this paper. So when you work with um, with any of the uh, models in your experiment, uh, say for example mice, you have to have a workflow uh, for that for that model. And uh, for a mice model, <clears throat> it starts with designing a mating. Then you do an actual mating. You observe your litter counts, and finally you wean your mice. So in every step of this workflow, <clears throat> you have to uh, keep the track, keep the updates. Um, go back to uh, uh, your previous records uh, and retrieve some of your records and so on. So uh, apart from the uh, from mating, you also have some uh, other things to note, which are uh, individual IDs or uh, genealogy, which is the pedigree chart for your mice. Um, then uh, cage cards, uh, the investigator who is performing that experiment, the date when it was conducted, and some other important features like uh, the genotype of that mice or uh, the phenotype, the count of the mice, the sex of mice and so on. So all of this information can be stored uh, in one setting uh, in, uh, uh, in our interface of the software. And uh, once it's saved, it would be saved into a backend and then can be retrieved from our uh, SQL database.
So it's important uh, to how do you implement uh, any software. So in this software, uh, since we were looking for processing speed, uh, storage and uh, uh, simplicity, we tried to develop it on a Mac operating system with a MySQL relational database. And all of the coding was done on, uh, on IDE NetBeans. Uh, since we are looking for speed, uh, uh, we found out that Intel Xeon processor uh, should uh, suffice the requirements of our uh, processing power. And uh, we have tried to use four uh, core processing units and each of the uh, CPU had have 10 cores per, uh, per unit. Um, apart from that, we tried to uh, expand or uh, improve the, the storage space. So we have used two terabytes of scratch storage. Uh, and uh, as we mentioned before, uh, since it's an unpublished data, uh, so you need to have strong security measures. So we try to implement this uh, Kerberos protocol, uh, which uh, enforces the, the password uh, expedition and password policies. Sometimes um, the, uh, the user may, may need some special requirements, like if he is working with mice model or rat model, uh, he may need a transgenic module. So in transgenic model, um, uh, he may have information with cryopreservation or um, hormone priming or in vitro fertilization IVF. Uh, so that information also needs to be um, <clears throat> uh, recorded into uh, uh, recording it into his tracking uh, uh, tracking records. So so we try to uh, use this um, these features in software. And apart from that, um, uh, uh, if he's working with um, say a fish model, then he may need a tank temperature or location number um, or revitalization on the types of embryo and so on. So all this information can be incorporated uh, into a one single interface uh, and can be retrieved uh, as it's needed in future. So with this software, we have a central database with a backup strategy, um, which can prevent the data hacking or data loss and um, uh, the largest number of colonies which uh, for mice which we tested is 1000 but uh, uh, because of limitations in server space um, we were only able to test 1000 colonies uh, once we have that uh, uh, the access to more of the space uh, up to 5000 colonies per user can be tested or can be used uh, with the software <clears throat> also the software is uh, uh, adaptable to other uh, animals like aquatic animals and uh, we tested the software on our beta users and most of the beta users they found the software to be extremely simple. So Rudent SQL can increase both workflow efficiency and data security and thus produce significant cost savings and enhanced uh, scientific results. This application was designed with extensive input from end users and addition of new features including support for additional model organisms, enhanced vivarium management functions, and support for um, more samples with specific experiments uh, which will be considered. Some of the current available uh, softwares or commercially available uh, softwares in market are Rudent SQL, MouseDB, JCMS, MLIMS, SoftMouseDB, Mouse Che, Mouse Colon Colony, Pirate, and EZ Colony. Most of these softwares are paid, except Mouse TV and JCMS. And uh, some of them they do have protocol information, some they don't. And most of these softwares they are focused on uh, on mice and rat models. And none of these models, except Pirate, they have a transgenic module. Our software do have a transgenic module. Uh, it supports uh, organisms other than mice and rat and do have uh, the protocols uh, implemented in the software. So in future, we are trying to integrate some statistical analysis tools in uh, the software that would help uh, the user to do the statist statistical analysis um, <clears throat> for the data and the second uh, important thing is uh, visualization of data so it would be helpful for the user to see the trends into their data set 
by data visualization uh, tools and uh, the <clears throat> the other important thing is the ontologies which is just the gene functions so if the user have some knockdown genes then um, <clears throat> Uh, integration of ontology tools would help them to analyze the functions of those genes. Um, also, since we tested the software on thousand colonies, uh, if we have an improved server space, uh, we would uh, test our software to to five thousand or even more colonies. And uh, so, finally, this is an <coughs> open source uh, software, and any person can download the software. It's free of charge and can, uh, <clears throat> can use it and save hours of um, um, manual recording time or even the labor cost.